let's get started on present value. We're going to talk about the basics today. So our present value formula is our other metric formula. Before we jump in and start talking about what P, X, and I mean, how do we know when we're supposed to be using the present value formula? Okay, so we use the present value formula when we have a question about a loan. Okay, money has been borrowed. Okay, so present value is for loans, no problems, Wanaka. The other time that we can use the present value formula is in the case of um, uh, if you win the lottery. Okay, so a lottery win. If you are receiving regular payments from that um from that lottery win, we would use present value. Another place where we would use the present value, right, which is similar to the lottery win, is in the case of an inheritance. Now, it might seem strange to you that if you win the lottery or you have an inheritance, that it would be the same as a loan. But the idea is, is that you are starting with a bigger value of money and as you take money out every month or as you pay um, money every single month, this present value gets smaller over time until eventually it is completely amortized, okay, which means that you don't owe any more money. All right, so that's why present value is used for loans in any situation where money has been borrowed. If you win the lottery and you win a million rand and you take 10,000 rand out every single month, that money is not just going to stay there forever. You're not just going to keep the million rand. It's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually you've got no money left, right? It's the same thing with an inheritance. If you receive 500,000 rand because your auntie died and you take money out of that 500,000 rand every single month, then the 500,000 Rand is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? So that's why we are talking about present value. Okay, so P represents the present value. X is always our equal payment made in the period. I, our interest rate written as a decimal. Here our N is a negative, right, minus N. And again, it represents the number of payments that would be made in the period. Okay, so super basic. James takes out a one-year loan to pay for an expensive laptop. The interest rate is one eight per annum. Sorry, it's eighteen percent per annum, compounded monthly, and monthly repayments of one thousand six hundred and fifty rand twenty-four cents are made one month after the granting of the loan. Show that he borrowed an amount of eighteen thousand rand. Okay, so when it comes to the present value formula, this is just the way that it works. There always has to be a gap. Okay, between when the loan is granted and when your payments start being made. Okay, so if your payments are made on a monthly basis, there needs to be a gap of one month. If the payments were made on a quarterly basis, there would need to be a gap of one quarter of a year. Okay, if the, in some unusual situations, if there were payments being made on a half yearly basis, then there would need to be a gap of one half year. Okay, we don't need to worry about changes to that this lesson, but certainly next lesson, we will need to start thinking about that. Okay, all right, so this is really simple. Present value, we're just gonna substrate in there. Um, X is 1650,24 24, subbing into our formula. We've got one minus one plus zero comma one eight over twelve. The number of payments that he is going to make. All right, so it's for one year. Yes, Lucejo. You're welcome to unmute and speak, Lucejo. I don't know where Lesejo is, but this would be minus 12.
and we just need to close off our bracket like that. Okay, so be very careful. Remember, your calculator will have a heart attack if you open a bracket and you don't close your bracket. Okay, so always, always, always open a bracket. Make sure that you close it. Okay, and then you can pop that into your calculators and you can share what you're getting as an answer with Yulinda and I. Well, we know it should be 18,000. It, it should sort of round off to very close to that. Are you guys getting that as an answer? You should be getting around about 18,000 Rand. Okay. I know I certainly am. Yes. Okay, so 18,000. And then on the calculator, it's 00139. Okay, all right, good, lovely. Okay, so that's how we would calculate present value, quite simple. Okay, let's have a look at a, another one. All right, Mali Bongwe takes out a bank loan to pay for his new car. He repays the loan by means of monthly payments of 5,000 Rand for a period of five years, starting one month after the granting of the loan. The interest rate is 24% per annum, compounded monthly. Calculate the purchase price of his car. All right, so I'm going to put the present value formula here for you. You guys are going to work out the answer to this. And if we're all okay, we can move on. All right, go for it. I agree, Nolotando. I agree, Chloe. Just see what the others are getting. Yes, Shusana. Yes, Li Flu got the same answer as you. Good. Perfect. Well done, Velocian. All right. So well done, everybody. Um, if you're all okay with this, I'll just quickly put it over here to four over 12. It's for a period of five years. So this would be minus 60. There would be 60 payments, one payment a month for five years. And you should have ended up with a final answer of one seven three eight oh four comma four three. Okay, so 
Again, there would be a mark for subbing into the right formula. Often there is a mark for the correct N value, the number of payments, and then on your answer. Okay. All right. Sure, come hello. All right. So <clears throat> it tells us he repays the loan by means of monthly payments for a period of five years. Okay, there always has to be a gap of one period, okay, after the loan is granted. Okay, so in other words, the loan is granted, um, let's say, in August, he starts paying in September. All right, because there has to be a gap. All right, and then he will pay September <clears throat> all the way through to five years later. Okay, so one payment a month for five years. Okay, so we're saying N is equal to five times 12. Okay, so that's why it would be 60. Okay, 60 payments. Does that make sense, Kamgelo? No problem, all right. Okay, so... Um, this is um, just to show you what I was trying to say here at the beginning about the um, lottery win. So um, how much money will you need to win in the national lottery so as to receive equal monthly payments of 10,000 Rand per month from a bank for a period of 20 years starting one month after winning the money? The bank grants you an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly. Try this question as well, Matrix. So again, I'm going to put the present value formula here for you. All right, so again, remember, if you win money in the lottery and you take money, 10,000 Rand out every single month, your um, winnings are going to decrease over time. Eventually, you're not going to have anything left if you keep withdrawing money all the time. So that's why we use the present value formula. How much money would you need to win for that to happen? Okay, thank you for your answer, Chloe. Others can DM me as well. All right, so, so your answer is different to Lilu or Chloe. Maybe you just press something funny on the calculator. Yes, Zoom user. All right, so that's fine. That's perfect. Yes. Sakira, yes, good. Kahala, that's good. All right, perfect. Yes, Mbuso, perfect. Yes, Trish. Yes, Mbalente. Yes, Sihau. Yes, Maseho. All right. Just very quickly, just so that anybody watching this video sees where your answers come from. Well done. And then over here, you had minus 240. Okay, because it was for 20 years. Okay, well done, Matrix. That's perfect. You'd have to win almost a million rand. So 908,194 rand and 
16 cents is what you'd need to win from the national lottery. And that would allow you to take 10,000 Rand a month out. Okay, good stuff. Okay. All right. <clears throat> This is pretty much the same thing. What I'm thinking, it's just different because it's uh, quarterly payments of 2,000 Rand starting in three months' time. I'm, again, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you guys do this question yourselves. Mm. It's for like what, four weeks or something? Let's see what you guys are saying. Mm -hmm. Good, well done. Mm. Chloe, yeah, I got a different answer to you, Chloe. Zoom user, whoever you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm calling you Zoom user. I got the same answer as you, Lethu, Trish, Nolotando, Kamgelo, got the same answer, iPhone, Bali, Gala, Zakfatso. <clears throat> okay, uh, so see how, why are you, why do you want to add three? Can you just explain that to me? Why do you want to add three? Yes, Chrissy, good, well done. So how would and if you want to unmute and just explain that to me for the rest of us um it is quarterly payments okay but it's starting in three months time uh so it's 18 percent per annum compounded quarterly for a duration of 10 years so in other words if there are four payments made a year for a period of 10 years there would be 40 payments made Okay, we don't need to add three to that. Okay, zero, one, oh, sorry, 0, 0,18 over four. And that means that Lorato would have been able to borrow uh, 36,000, as you guys told me, 803 Rand and 17 cents. No, so see how because I understand why you are doing that. See how when it's a common mistake, all right. But it tells us here that that Lorato is repaying the loan of equal quarterly payments. Okay, so it's quarterly payments starting in three months' time, which is starting in one quarter 
So do you remember so how at the beginning of the lesson I said there always has to be a gap. If you are paying monthly, there has to be a gap of one month. If you're paying quarterly, there has to be a gap of three months, one quarter of a year. If you are paying half yearly, there has to be a gap of six months. Okay, so if this question changed and I said that Lorato was starting to pay in six months time, so let's cross, let's cross, let's leave this as part A. Let's consider the same question matrix. Only now I'm changing this and I'm saying that Lorato is starting to pay in six months' time. How would that change this question? All right, how, hold on a second. Um, Chloe, please explain the 40. Okay, so non demiso velocian. All right, yes, you're right. Okay, Chloe, you fine. Non demiso. Okay, a quarter has three months. Yes. Okay, so one quarter of a year is three months. There's 12 months in a year. So quarterly, if you divided the 12 by four, it would be three months. Okay, does that make sense? So we're going to do the same question again, but I've changed it. All right, everything is exactly the same except Lorato does not start paying in three months' time. She starts paying in six months' time. What would happen now? How would our answer change? Cool, non so no problem. So now this makes things a little bit more difficult. All right, but you guys like difficult questions, don't you? <laughs> what would I do differently? if she started paying in six months time and not three months time. Yes, so it's still quarterly payments. All of that's still the same. She still repays the loan by all quarterly payments of 2000 Rand. The only thing that's changed is Lerato starts paying in six months time instead of three months time. What's going to happen? How does this change what we did previously? <clears throat> uh, grace period, so we subtract three months. No. No, Latando, doesn't it change the N? Okay. Mm. Velocian says, ma'am, nothing changes in present value, only the number of months for compounding formula. Okay, so Velocian, what would you write then? What would you write? Okay, so this is this makes it quite a bit more difficult, fair enough. Velocian, maybe you're a little bit shy, but you're you're on the right track. Okay, what Velocian is saying is this, okay, do you remember when we did the future value formula, when someone stopped paying, that we didn't use the future value formula anymore, and then if the money stayed in the account, it would have to earn interest according to compound interest, do you remember that? Okay, so it's the same idea here. All right. If you are repaying a loan on a quarterly basis and you only start paying in six months time, what that means is that there is going to be a three month period, a quarter period where that loan has to grow before you start paying it off. OK, so in other words, from let's say your loan is granted at T0, all right, and you now start paying over here, right? There has to be a gap, all right? So here between T0 when the loan is granted and T1, there has to be interest will be charged, 
interest will be charged on that loan. All right. So like what Velocian has been saying in the in the chat, your P value would have to earn interest. So what you would do is this. You would take your P and you would multiply it by your bracket. So you'd end up with 0, 0,18 over 4. And it would only grow for a gap of one quarter, right? So the exponent on that would be a one. That's how we would grow the loan for this first quarter where interest is being charged, but payments haven't actually taken place. There has to be a gap of one quarter of a year, okay? So from here to here, there's been six months. Okay, so from T0 to T1, that's three months you're charged interest. For the next three months, that's where your gap is. Your first payment starts over there at T0. Okay, now you are making payments. Okay, I should actually put the P down here at the bottom and not there in the middle. I'll do... Um, this, and then I'll rub it out. Okay, you are making payments of 2,000 Rand a month. One minus, one plus our interest rate of 0, 0,18 over four. So now let's just consider how many payments are going to be made, all right? Remember, Lerato still wants to pay the loan off in 10 years. Okay, so by the time we get down here to the end, all right, how many quarters did we have? We had 40 of them, didn't we? Okay, so T, um, let's say 30, 38, T39, T40. Okay, so remember from here to here is three months. From here to here is another three months. Okay, so how many, so remember he's starting at, or sorry, she is starting, it's Lorata, she's starting at T2. All right, she has to go all the way down to T40. All right, how many payments is she making? How many payments would she be making? Remember, she still wants to pay it off in 10 years. Malashane, you're welcome to ask a question. There we go, Tsekhofatso, quite right. No, sorry, you're not right. Sorry, 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 Tsekhofatso, you're not correct. Yes, quarterly is every three months. So a lot of people make that mistake. So how will uh, iPhone, Nolotundo, you are correct. Okay, there would be 39 payments. That's at Nolotundo, quite right. Okay, 39 payments. Okay, so this would be to the power of 39. Okay, close that bracket off. Okay. And then this has got to go over 0, 0,18 over 4. Okay. All right, so that's what you would do in a situation like this. Okay, isn't it interesting how just changing it from three months to six months makes this question a, that much more difficult, all right, because we have to consider how it changes in, 
and also how it affects P. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, saw me because I'm not concentrating. It would have to be negative. It would have to be negative. Okay, so my apologies. Okay, so now. <laughs> okay, so Tsikhofatso, what you would then need to do in order to calculate your P is you'd have to work out your fraction and then divide it by the bracket. Okay, so we would end up with our 2000, 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,18 over 4 to the minus 39 over 0, 0,18 over four, and then you would need to divide that, okay, by our bracket of one plus zero comma one eight over four, okay, because we're trying to isolate P. I hope that makes sense to everybody. All right, so let's just quickly work out the answer, and then you guys can tell me if you feel as though this makes sense to you, which obviously I'm hoping it does. Um, there's just some few of them think that they lost. They don't understand where the 39 comes from. That's fine. I will explain that now. Okay, that's fine, Zwanaka. All right, this is what I would get. Okay, so let's look at it. Let's look at it like this. Let's move over to the side okay and let's draw ourselves a little timeline to illustrate the point that i'm trying to make okay so we've got t0 t1 t2 okay So, Zwanaka, let's say I start making payments here at T2. I don't make a payment at T0, I make a payment at T1, at T3, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. Can you say that the number of payments that I made was 6 minus 2? So, you're taking this 6 here. And you're minusing that two over there, and you're saying to me, I made four payments. Is that true? Because you can count them now, can't you? You couldn't count them before because there were so many of them. But if you count the number of payments now, okay, it's not true. They're not four payments. I can't say six minus two because there was a payment made at T2. So actually, if I want to work out the number of payments that have been made, all right, I'm not subtracting um, two, I'm actually subtracting one. Six minus one would leave me with five payments. See, there's the four, one, two, three, four, five payments. That's the idea. All right, so if there are, let's go back up here and go and have a look. All right, here, we ended there. We're not subtracting two because we know that there aren't 38 payments. I've got to subtract the one before. Okay, so 40 minus one. 
all right, if I start paying at T2, there are 39 payments. Does that make sense to you now, Zwanaka, and everybody else who was confused? Does that explain it? So this is this is not true, we've agreed. No problem. Okay, if it doesn't, be honest. Kamuhelo? Kamuhelo? Hi, ma'am. Hi, Kamuhelo. Could we please go back to the question? Of course. There it is. On Do you want to ask something? Mm -hmm. On the question, we said that it's starting in six months' time, right? Yes. So how come we only minus one? I don't understand that part. Are you saying the 39? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So that's what I was just explaining to Zwanaka right now here on the side. Okay, I'll go and I'll explain it to you again. Okay, Zwanaka and Kamhelo, let me explain to you again, all right, why it's one less payment. Okay, look here what I was saying on the side. Okay, here you can count the number of payments, right? If I start at T2, let's just get rid of all of this. Doesn't matter how much money I pay. Oh, let's just leave the 2000. Okay, so if you were confused by why it changed from 40 to 39, listen because I'm explaining it now. Okay. This is a more simple example, obviously. All right. If I start paying at T2 and I finish paying at T6, can I say that there are four payments? Can I say six minus two means there were four payments of 2,000 Rand? Is that true? Suanaka and Kamuhelo? It's not true, right? Okay, because you started counting at T2. At T2 was the first payment. So this is payment number one. This is payment number two. This is payment number three. This is payment number four. This is payment number five. So this is like sigma notation. You know, when we need to work out with sigma notation, the number of terms in a pattern, and we say like top minus bottom plus one, it's kind of like the same idea here. All right, so um, because, Chachela, it says to us that we are only starting to pay in six months' time. That's how we know. All right, so if we subtract one, six minus one, then that will give us what remains here, these five payments. All right, so that's why the correct way to do this is if I want to work out the number of payments is to say six minus one and then that will leave me with the number of payments so it's the number in front okay and then that will eliminate all those in the front here and I will be able to count how many between when I started and when I ended okay so I'll go back up to the question again it's not a problem Okay, so that's why if I start in six months time, okay, so the loan has to grow from T0 to T1. That's the first three months where it's growing because I'm not starting to pay after three months. I'm starting to pay after six months. So there's going to be a one quarter period where I'm going to pay interest. That's from T0 to T1. Then there's going to be a gap from T1 to T2 because there always needs to be a gap of one period before a loan is repaid. So from T1 to T2, 
there's the gap. Okay, from T0 to T1, oh, sorry, to T2, there are six months. So that's why there are two things that have to change if I say that I'm starting to pay in six months time. First of all, my loan has to grow. Okay, so this over here, multiplying P by this bracket is the loan growing over here between T0 and T1. Then I also have to say, okay, well, she's still repaying the loan in 10 years. But instead of her starting after three months at T1, she's now starting to pay at T2. So that's going to be one less payment that she would be making. That's why it's now minus 39. Okay, there's one less payment. All right, so to calculate this, you would then work out the value of the 2000 multiplied by the square bracket divided by I, and then to get P on its own, you're going to divide by that round bracket. Okay. Yes, absolutely, Klobanisa. Okay, very, very, very important. Okay, so this is the sort of thing that they are going to do to you with these sorts of questions. So this would be considered quite difficult. That's why I'm doing it with you guys. All right, it is considered a difficult question. All right, I, I hope it is making sense now. Okay, let's carry on um, and go and have a look at this question over here. This one's not meant to be that difficult. We're just calculating something different. All right, so Brenda takes out a loan of 400,000 Rand. She repays the loan by means of equal monthly payments starting one month after the granting of the loan. Okay, so there's no need for the loan to grow. She's paying monthly and she's starting to repay month, uh, one, um, after a gap of one month. The interest rate is 16% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the monthly repayments. So what are they asking us to calculate in this question? I know the monthly repayment, but in terms of your um, formula, which letter? That's at the X. Okay, do you guys want to do this by yourselves? Shall I let you do this on your own or do you want me to? Yes, okay. No problem, Kamuhelo. You do this on your own. The formula's there, guys. Don't be scared. The worst thing that can happen is it's wrong and that is also fine because we'll fix it. Oopsie. Let's see what you guys are, are saying. Yeah, where's my mouse? Ma'am, can you please go back to where, Miss Cindy? Where do you want me to go back to? Again, you can DM me your answers or DM you lender your answers when you've done this one about Brenda. No, no, no. We, if we're working with present value, N must be negative. Lorato, the last question. Okay. All right, I'm just going up to the last question. Okay, Miss Cindy, what did you want to ask? Yes, Nolatando, good. Well done. Got the same answer as you. Okay, so Miss Cindy, maybe take um, screenshots because I just need to go back down again. 
Yes. Kyla, I got the same answer as you. Screenshots, Miss Indy. Screenshots, screenshots. Okay. Shisana, something's gone wrong there. Yes, iPhone 2. Okay, my Cindy, there we go. Let's go down. That's it, Lobanisa. Okay, so. Yep, I agree, Vadoshan. You are brilliant. Oh, absolutely, you are brilliant. Okay, well done. All right, so you would have said 400,000 is equal to X is what you're trying to calculate. 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,16 over 12. It's for... 20 years that she's taking this loan. She's paying monthly. So that means that she would make 240 payments to pay off this loan. Okay, all over 0, 0,16 over 12. Okay, so in order to get X on its own, you're going to cross multiply. and then divide by your square bracket. Okay, you don't have to show this step in the middle where you are making X the subject to the formula, but you do have to show where you've subbed in. Okay, all right, so here, subbing into the correct formula there, and then there would be a mark on the answer. Okay, so like so many of you, I am getting five, five, six, five, comma, oh, two. Okay, good. Well done. Well done. All right, so just like with future value, they can get us to calculate F, they can get us to calculate the X. Or they could even get us to calculate the N as well. All right, and then we would have to use logs. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Again, it's just a little bit different. Not much, but just a little bit different. Okay, come here. Let's just see what you're saying. If you're then asked to calculate the total amount of the interest that will be paid. Ah, okay. Well, come here. That is a completely different question entirely okay that is um quite a bit more um difficult and i am going to do that with you on thursday if they asked you to calculate the amount of interest that is paid in the first year, i'll get a question like that all right that's paid in the first year or the first five years or whatever the case is you have to be able to work with outstanding balance okay so i haven't covered outstanding balance with you guys but i will as i say i will do that on thursday all right come hello so we'll talk about that then Right, because that, that is a sort of question that comes up quite frequently. So we will we will definitely discuss that on Thursday. All right, but it's because I haven't discussed outstanding balance with you and we've only got like eight minutes left. All right, so we're not going to be able to cover all of that now. Okay. Do you mean what Kamkhelo is asking about, Sean? Where you would be asked to calculate the amount of interest that's paid in the first year? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The outstanding balance, quite right. Yeah, no, it's something that yeah, it's something that your teachers should cover with you in class. The other thing that they should cover with you as well is missed payments. So they should they should cover um, what happens if payments are missed with um, present value and also what happens if payments are missed with um, future value. Um, mm 
sphere. Okay, so what I will also try and do before we do um, uh, trials exams in the, the run up to trials, um, I will try and cover in at least one of our lessons some of the sort of really more difficult questions that they could potentially ask on financial maths. Okay, so maybe where payments are missed or just something that's just a little bit unusual or difficult or whatever. Okay, um, the previous questions. Okay, so if they did ask you to calculate the monthly repayment, it would be out of three. It wouldn't be out of any more than that. Okay, if they gave you a question like this one here, the, the, the second part that we did, then it would be out of a little bit more. Okay, because there would have to be a mark for multiplying P by the bracket. There would have to be a mark on the minus 39. There would be a mark on the correct formula. Okay, and then there would be a mark on the answer over here. So that, that would be out of, that would be out of four. No, Lutando, I can. I can certainly, I can try and do some questions like that with you where the interest rate changes. Again, that would be sort of super extension stuff. Um, on this course, because I've only got six lessons with you, it's a bit difficult for me to fit all of that in. But certainly, I'm more than happy to do that in um, our, our preparation for trials. Okay. Oh. Clobanisa, are you talking about this one over here? Are you talking about 5565,02? Is that the one that you mean? No. Okay, which one? New one. Which new question? Oh, this one. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so this particular question over here. All right. So let's just quickly do this. Okay, Clobanisa, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm busy answering lots of different questions all at the same time. So sometimes it just get a little bit confused. Okay. Um, so she buys a car for 125000 She pays a deposit of 15% and then takes out a bank loan on the balance. So that means you need to calculate 15% of... 120 whoopsie 125,000 rand okay so that ends up being 18750 so she pays it as a deposit so that means her loan is going to be the 125,000 minus the deposit of 18,750 okay so she actually borrows 106250. All right, that's what she ends up borrowing. Okay, so it would be 106250 is your present value, x, 1 minus. 1 plus 0, 0,125 over 12. So it's a monthly payment over six years. So 6 times 12 would be 72 payments of whatever x is. OK. All over 0, 0,125 over 12. OK, so Flobonisa, one second. We are going to cross multiply. Give me one minute. Okay, I'm getting an answer here of two, 
104 comma 94. All right. Yes, Chloe. Thank you. Yes, Tehufatsu, you get the same one. Voloshin got the same as us. Okay. Um, usually, mm. so is it okay on your side if you can pick if you have a poll there? I can't try it if not on my side. Really? Oh, that's why. crazy. Okay, I'll have a look now. I just want to answer one question here, Slobanisa. Yeah. Okay, so Slobanisa. All right, they should say that. All right, but it, there's always a gap. Okay, so if the car um, is repaid over a period of six years, there's going to be a one month, if it's repaid monthly, there's going to be a gap of one month. Always, always, always. Okay, so that doesn't increase the number of repayments. What it means is that from the time that the loan is granted to when you start paying, there's a gap of one month. But you're still going to pay one times, or sorry, one, um, every month for a period of six years from that first payment. Okay, so it's not 73 payments. Okay, the poll, I don't know where the poll's gone. Polls, let's see. Yeah, okay. because I, I cannot find it on my There we go. Did you find it? I found it. There it is. Okay, if you can just run it on your side. I there's none on my side. Maybe because we have the oh, whole no, I, okay, the whole that's fine. No worries. I've got you, you Linda. For a change, I've got you because you're always getting me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you were so precious <laughs> so i wonder you. why that happened okay so Kamhelo, the answer was two one oh sorry there it is two one oh four comma nine let's just move the poll out the way there it is there's so, a poll already I can't even yes see like. can you not see That's it on the screen weird. it's there no please do the poll guys and then you are welcome to go okay <laughs> Let's see how when are we doing the counting principle? It's currently killing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, well, I'm sorry. We're gonna do statistics next and then we're gonna do probability after that. All right. Yes. So so hang tight, see how well. the fundamental counting principle is one of the more difficult sections. Okay. So just hang in there. All right, it's a pleasure, non so Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Guys. Bye. It's a pleasure. Pleasure offensive. I just wonder why my site is not there. I wonder, hey. This is the weirdest situation ever. <laughs> and also, you're running the poll, and I can't see the poll, but you are running it. I'm running it. I'm running it. In fact, I think the poll is finished. I don't think anybody that, else is answering. Is there any way you could just uh, like a screenshot it and then maybe send it to me? I don't know directly. Or I can I can do that. Let me do that now. Yes, please. On. I I wonder. I I, I yeah. I really don't know. I don't know what Shame. happened. That's okay. Sometimes, I don't know, technology does weird things, doesn't it? Yeah, really weird things in this moment. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you now, Yulena. Um, so, sorry, police. So, if we can just, let me just check if I can. Ooh, I can't take it out on my side. So, we, we, um, we are not actually allowed to share details of like ourselves and everything. I know that probably you didn't know, but um, is this act what, 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 what of South Africa and also what Tobe has agreed to it, that we're not going to be sharing any information with um, anyone. It's for your own protection and for all of us. So, yeah. Okay.
Yeah, the poppy act. Yes. That's quite right. Absolutely. Thank you. That's there. Absolutely. Correctly. Yeah. So, no, no, no. Please don't. It's fine. Don't, don't apologize. You didn't. You didn't know. I, I know you weren't. Do anything, yeah. uh, you didn't do anything. It's okay. But it's just, um, we can get into trouble, um, if yeah. we share, if we allow you to share personal information, um. Goliso, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I know that you are often, what calculator have you got? Have you got a Casio? Let's just have a look what you're saying. Everybody else, you're welcome to go a Casio. Okay, all right. So what you would do, this is the way I would do it. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll because I've sent it to you, Yulinda. Via right. where, where did I, I, I WhatsApp it to you? Are you WhatsApp? Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Okay. Thanks. No problem. So, Colisa, just very quickly, what you would do is this. On your calculator, you're going to press 106250, and then you're going to multiply it by, press the fraction button. So, 0, 0,125 over 12. And then press equals. Sehofatso, it is um the grade 12 probability. So basically we talk about when we talk about, about the counting principle, we talk about the number of ways in which something can happen. Okay, so in how many different ways can people be seated next to one another? Um, in how many different ways, if we've got, you know, three geography textbooks and five maths textbooks, and how many different ways can these textbooks be arranged on a shelf? That's what we're talking about with the counting principle. Yeah, the factorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The factorial stuff. <laughs> Quite right. Okay, so, Koliso, uh, this is what you press. You press equals. Okay, what are you getting as an answer when you do that? Okay, by Zekhofatso. What are you getting as an answer? Ma'am, you say I must start by pressing 106. 106250, yeah, absolutely. And then I, I press the fraction one. And yes, and press times, and then you press the fraction button. At the top, okay. you put in 0, 0,125. And the time is... And then at the bottom, you put you put 12. And now press equals, and then tell me what you get. When is that to press the fraction in there? Then 106... So, so you press the fraction button here. Okay, so you press 106250 times, then you press the fraction button. Then the number will go straight on the fraction. And then, side. yes, and then and then you can put the 0 0.125 at the top and the 12 okay. at the bottom. Okay, and then press okay. equals. I can, well, one plus, I can put one minus one open bracket. Okay, and then you've got to press divided by. So after you've pressed the equals, after you've pressed the equals, you then have to press the divide button, divided by, and then you're going to open your bracket, and then you're going to say one minus bracket, one plus, then you're going to put in your fraction button again, 0, 0,125 over 12, close your bracket bracket and then you're going to press your exponent button and you're going to put the minus the 72 into the exponent and then you're going to close the bracket again and then you're going to press equals let me fix this one uh, this 106250 should stay alone eh? not on the fraction side you know? no that's not in the fraction that's just a normal yes. number 